But Tolkien doesn't leave the story there. The next chapter, Tolkien's a very sly writer. The very next chapter gives us the same tension between friendship and citizenship, between a more personal call and a more universal call, but now puts us on the side of the universal. This is the confrontation between Gandalf, everybody's favorite wizard. Who's not on Gandalf's side? Right? Who reads the Lord of the Rings and thinks, that Gandalf is a slippery character? <laughs> the confrontation between Gandalf and Denethor, the steward of Gondor, the man who is now the political ruler of Gondor. Denethor doesn't trust Gandalf. Now, some of that is a matter of simply personal pride. There's no doubt that Tolkien presents Denethor as a ruler who wants to be in charge. And so, Sometimes he forgets his very duties because he's pointing at himself. That's how Tolkien makes you take Gandalf's side. But Tolkien does something very complicated, but he fools you. You like Gandalf, you don't like Denethor, so you don't listen to what Denethor says. I've noticed people do that now and again. You may have seen that in your own life. You listen to people you like. You don't listen to people you don't like. Well, who you like doesn't happen to track what's true. Denethor has part of the truth. Here's the confrontation. Denethor, his job is not to save the world. His job is to save Gondor. He's the steward of Gondor. He's not the steward of the world. Now, of course, there would be immoral ways to devote yourself simply to one political community. But there would also be immoral ways to abandon your commitment to one political community just to think you'd save the world. And Tolkien is quite aware of that. So here's what happens when Denethor confronts Gandalf. Denethor is irritated because Gandalf doles out information in a way that suits Gandalf's purposes, not in a way that suits Denethor's purposes. And Denethor says to Gandalf, the Lord of Gondor, notice he doesn't call himself the steward of Gondor because of course his pride gets in the way. The Lord of Gondor is not to be made the tool of other men's purposes, however worthy. Even if they're saving the world, my job is to save Gondor and its people. You know, when I decided which children to send to college, did I survey all the children in my town and think, who's most worthy for me to pay college tuition for? No! I pay college tuition for my daughters. My job is my daughters. And if you bring me your poor daughter or poor son and say, well, this one's more worthy than your daughter. Send her to college. I just close the door and walk away. I'm the steward of, I'm the Lord, maybe. <laughs> the Lord of Gondor is not to be made the tool of other men's purposes, however worthy. That's not my job. That's not my work. To him, he goes on, Denethor says, to the Lord of Gondor, there's no purpose higher in the world as it now stands than the good of Gondor. And the rule of Gondor is mine and no other man's. Now, clearly that's put in a way that makes us feel like Denethor is a man who's willful and prideful. But yet, we have to admit there's some truth about what his calling is, what his commitment is. And then Gandalf is given some beautiful words, but yet words that can't be the whole story, even if they're a crucial part of the story. 
Here's how Gandalf replies to Denethor's assertion that I have to watch out for the good of my political community, the one I'm charged with, not a universal good of the whole world. Gandalf says this, in that task, that is the task of saving Gondor, you shall have all the aid that you're pleased to ask for. I'll do anything I can to help you be the lord and steward of Gondor. But I will say this, says Gandalf, the rule of no realm is mine, neither of Gondor nor any other, great or small. I don't have that special commitment to that particular place. He says, all worthy things that are in peril as the world now stands, those are my care, all worthy things. And for my part, I shall not wholly fail of my task, though Gondor should perish. If anything passes through this night that can still grow fair or bear fruit and flower again in days to come. For, Gandalf completes his oration, I also am a steward. Did you not know? We're all called to be universal stewards of the world, but we're called to be universal stewards through being particular stewards for most of us. No doubt there are some of us, not many, who will be called to be Gandalf. None of us will be called to be just like Denethor because of his willfulness and his pridefulness. But we may be called to be like Sam so that our friendships, our personal friendships, are the way we participate in citizenship 